Yes. Operation Who's Your Daddy. The top mission is finding dad. Submission is going to be having stone crabs. Mission below that, getting you laid. Working with Ed was fantastic, and obviously, you know, I used to always look, and this went from the beginning of the first Hangover movie, as Ed is sort of the comedy linchpin to the success of those movies because uh, he, he really was the all-star. And over the course of making those movies, I gained so much respect for his ability as an actor and a comedic actor. So when I came time to make this movie, he was actually the first person I got attached. And thankfully, because there was obviously a little bit of a shorthand, but also he makes me feel so comfortable and uh, I trust him and I think he trusts me. So it really made the whole process a lot better. Monogamy wasn't exactly a priority. I've always wondered where I got my zest for love making. Now we know. A great actor is a great actor. And uh, sometimes they're like we all are, sort of put into certain boxes and typecast, is I don't think people necessarily think of Glenn as a comedic actor. But I just remember all the roles I'd seen her with in years and years and thought, of course she'll be fantastic. And first of all, she's gonna make it really grounded and she's gonna find the truth in every scene, which for me is the most important thing anyway. And from that truth and from the drama comes great comedy. And so I knew she'd kill it and she did. Mom actually dated Carrie Bradshaw? Do you remember a woman named Helen Baxter? Talk about a blast from the past. She had the tightest ass you've ever seen. A mouth. And that tongue. And a set of knockers. <laughs> Damn near cost us a Super Bowl. She's our mom. I, as a DP, and, a, and that was really my career for, for, for most of my career, uh, I can be go, 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 and, and, and really about, like, the logistical challenges of making a movie. And I really enjoy that part of the process. But I think as a director, you have a much bigger, you have to have a, a wider field of view and a little more patience to allow all the creative process to sort of come to you as opposed to forcing it a little sure. bit. So I think it, 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 uh, it made me, you know, respect patience a little more. What are you doing here? We think we're your sons. Excuse me for a minute. There is no way those two jackasses are my kids. He runs hot, just like you. I've learned something from every director I've ever worked with, bar none. Obviously, I've done five movies with Todd Phillips, so he's a close friend, and he's also very influential on... I respect the way he directs. I, I've learned a massive amount from him, but there's David Frankel and Greg Matolo and John Hamburg, and, you know, I mean, you name it. it the list actually goes on and on and on. Does the name Helen Baxter ring a bell? It does more than ring a bell. She was like a sexual ninja. She's our mom. All we did was cuddle. 